What is going on everybody and welcome back to some Assassin Creed Syndicate. So last episode we'd gone through this whole train yard and arrived to this location here. And I guess we'll just keep on going. <clears throat> Now, I have literally... Oh, you have two skill points. Skill upgrades. Okay, earn, earn XP from unlocking perks, resolving crowd events, and completing memories and activities. Each thousand XP gives both Jacob and Evie a skill point to spend on new skills. Require skills to level up Jacob and Evie and equip better gear. Okay. Oh. Okay. So with the two that we have now, this is the only thing that I can unlock. Oh, now there's all this too. Okay. Um, just pass through all this. Okay. Health boost. That would be a good unstoppable. Slayer, when your karma reaches time stand, your next attack automatically puts the target in a near death state. Eh. Lock picking, ooh, that could be useful. We'll just loot, take down, eagle vision. Let's go with the lock picking, just for now. Just because I know we're going to need that pretty soon. Like most Assassin's Creed games. Perform a double assassin. Oh. Day to day to day. Anything? No. But I did hear foot. Oh, there we go. Well, I need to go here. Is he the only one? I think so. In that case. Ooh. Might as well get what I can while I'm down here. But in this case, if he's the only one. Now, where do I go? A little bit quicker. And you're both dead. Let's grab some stuff too. Hopefully, I don't get found anytime soon. Where's the next group of guys? It says they're that way, I think. But I'm still gonna look around just to see what I can find. Because they might also be under me. Huh? No, I don't think they are. Let's just keep going. I don't think we have anyone to kill anytime soon. So let's just keep going. Yeah. What in the world? Piece of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. Oh, God. My job. On the blue light, it goes completely 
transparent. The cheek of that woman. I say I ought to seize the blasted artifact for Edinburgh. Okay, where do I enter? Oh, probably over here. Yeah, over here. Quit moving. Miss Thorne would have your head, and Mr. Stanick the rest. You know, Reynolds, it might just be worth the risk. Sir David, it cannot be serious. Just a wee joke, Reynolds. Once we unlock the artifact secret, let's kill these. Ah, oh, shit, they're walking away. Come on. All right, now, is there anyone else besides those two? Probably. So he's over there. And the objective is to... Well, not the objective, but the optional is to air assassinate. So is he... No, he's just a pedestrian. So I need to somehow get on top. Yeah. Oh, right here could work. Yeah. There we go. Ah, fuck. You don't see me. And let's run back up here. Because I actually want to air assassinate. to be able to air assassinate. But now they're on their guards. As long as they don't see me, I'm fine. There we go. Perfect. It is time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Sarek. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one, too. Will we fight to gain what we cannot take with us? It's in our nature. Goodbye, Mr. Brewster. No, oh, fuck. All right. I think we have to get out of here. Yeah, I think we have to get out of here. I have to get out of here now. Fuck, I need to go. Oh, shit. Whoa! <laughs> that was brutal. Alright, let's try this again, and that was massively cool.
Ah, this way. Come on. Shit. <clears throat> go, 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 go. That was far too close. Let me stop the oh no, okay. I must find a way out. Oh, through here. Of course. Where else would they direct me? Come on. Come on. <laughs> You're almost out. Yeah. A simple plan. Okay, so I did get both of those. Sweet. I thought I did. Was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan. Hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. <laughs> oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all, a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Yes, sir. Patience, Evie. Ah, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father, you could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so there was a bit more before the actual scene. Uh, welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. <laughs> They see the drone. Call Doctor Grammatica. <sighs> Come on, Isabel. What a lovely surprise! Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. 
It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Oh. Hunt them down! <laughs> All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. Okay. Whitechapel, London, 1868. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Is Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London? Did you not listen the first three times? <laughs> listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Beg pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy dipper! <laughs> Oh, fuck. Get back over here, kid. Shit. Come on. I could have had him so many times. Go by the way, junkie. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Holy oh, great teeth! Just try to stop me. Finish him off, and we'll go for a drink. What else does London have to That's offer? That's a good question. Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. No, oh, I think I'm going to lose. Maybe not. Yeah, hey, right before Evie. Sweet. <laughs> Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female. One male. Two decades old. And those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. <laughs> and you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed, to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starik sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. <laughs> she does not look impressed. Either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? The 
best way to see any landscape is from above. <laughs> Come on. Climb up. Look at what Starak has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor is by regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starak. You have my word. I my works. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. We are. Okay. We're running to a shop. Starek's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starek gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. No, now we're running. Okay. But why the rooks? Why call them the rooks? They're jogging. I'm fucking bolting. this city no one looks where they're going yes i've noticed that bloody drood i'll never finish it at this rate only providence knows where those words are headed now well i must get to work replacing them should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot charles dickens what an odd man that mr fry was charles dickens Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. Let's keep going. Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh god, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Wait, what are we doing? That too easy. That too easy. will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. Yeah, just seemingly taking a shortcut. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. Yeah, I wouldn't really trust him if that'd be the case. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, Jacob just wants to go guns blazing. But you, you gotta try and, like, do it sneaky. Steady on.
Interesting. Hi. Don't you be doing that. Did you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? We take over Starek's gangs. We cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. <laughs> yes, we are. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starek never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Okay. Rexford Gaylock. Known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. I don't think he was talking about you, bud. Decent. All right, so that'll be it for this episode. I hope you or part. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and do subscribe for more. And I shall see you guys in the next part.